Jewish, why do you ask? Why did you bring it up then? I just want you to know that some of my best friends are Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Ah, John! <laughs>
Okay. What has that got to do with it? Everyone knows Jews got secrets, you know, all that Oriental Kabbalah that nobody else knows anything about. That's garbage. Absolute garbage. Oh, so you yeah, deny it. Yes, yes, of course I deny it. Actually, when I see where I had made a mistake, I, I should have passed myself off to you as a Jew. We'd be having a whole different conversation here. We wouldn't be engaged in any pleasant chit-chat. We'd be talking about the mysteries of the universe. Things have been important that have been kept secret for the past 5,000 years. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to have that kind of conversation because I already revealed to you myself as an Arab. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were from Armenia. You said you were from Armenia. That's close enough to being an Arab. And while we're supposed to be Arabs, let me tell you this. The only ones that understand Jews are those with Arabian blood in them. There's something about Arabian blood that lets us understand Jews. What, camel dung? <laughs> What are you talking about? There's nothing that flows in blood but blood cells. What, no racial memories? You don't think that after 5,000 years of Arabs and Jews living together that the secrets of one don't flow through the blood of the other? There are no secrets. There's nothing flowing. Don't tell me what flows and what doesn't flow. You're a Jew and you've got a secret. Now do yourself a favor and get that filthy thing off your chest. What if you're all? Sooner or later, you're going to be spilling your guts out here. Everybody does. So what are you going to do? You're going to tell your rabbi. And what do you think he's going to do with what you tell him? He's going to tell his wife. And outside of two seconds, the whole congregation is going to know. <laughs> You're not going to be able to go for a piece of matzo without a half a dozen bearded men staring at you. <laughs> we can get a guarantee. Where I'm going, you don't bring messages back from. What's that, a guarantee? You're going to give me a guarantee? Yeah, absolutely. I know my customers. If you buy a suit, you get a guarantee and a pair of pants. What an incredibly bigoted thing to say. Think that I am a bigot? Yes, yes, I think you're a bigot. You've got a nerve calling me a bigot. I'll help you know I'm a member of the American Civil Liberties Union, and you can't be bigoted and be a member of the American <laughs> Civil Liberties Union. Well, then stop saying things like that. Like what? I'm not out here five minutes, and you're, and you're going on about uh, making comments about my nurse because she's from Puerto Rico, according to you. And then, and then you're making answering the comments to me about uh, being a Jew and uh, not needing a guarantee, and now you're back on the Puerto Ricans again. Well, that's because they play dominoes. You don't see them on the street playing the dominoes. <laughs> that's not the point. It's the, it's the implications of what you're saying. Well, I'm a Jew, and I need a guarantee. So what's that supposed to be? Jews are tight-fisted with money? They're different from everybody? I don't I don't believe we're having this conversation. <laughs> I can't believe we're having this conversation. What makes you so touchy? I am not <laughs> Well, my room because of the Puerto Ricans. <laughs> 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 